Well, I think there was there's uh, two ways of looking at it. One is the personal value. You know, for me, obviously, being um, a, a new parliamentarian, it was interesting to to see how how things. Uh, work in, in, in different uh, parliaments in, in, in the Commonwealth. Of course, I mean, I have an idea of how our parliament works, and, uh, b but still it was, it was interesting because, you know, being new, it was, it, you're always learning new things, and, and, I think, and I think that was important. Now, secondly, f for Gibraltar, I think, I think it's very important to, to be there because you, can, you send a message, you, 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 you let people know what Gibraltar is all about. Um, you know, uh, you know. We think that Gibraltar is well known, but perhaps not. I mean, there are people out there. You know, I mean, in, in New Zealand, people from Australia, people from Pakistan, who haven't heard of Gibraltar, and some, some who have, uh, don't know the exact details of Gibraltar. What do we do? How do we live? You know. So I think it was very important to be there and to and to put Gibraltar on the map. So the value is not just the course itself, but the networking opportunities that come from uh, being with people from all over the Commonwealth. I think that was uh, very important. Um, a lot of people who showed uh, interest and wanted to visit Gibraltar because they didn't know how how important we are and, and, and what we actually do. Uh, some people thought we were. A, uh, I was told, you know, so do you come from a small from that small island? I don't. I don't come from that small island. I come from Gibraltar. And when you sit down and explain to them what Gibraltar is, they they are they are they're very interested and um, they want to know more. And it was very important meeting. Uh, people from, from New Zealand, people, uh, MPs from New Zealand, MPs from uh, Australia, from Pakistan. Um, and, and I thoroughly enjoyed it, actually, m meeting all these people and, 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 uh, and, good, and good people. The parliamentary conference was run by the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, and it was on effective parliaments and um, how to make parliamentarians more effective, I believe. So it was a, a five-day course with different sessions throughout the day and all the delegates from different Commonwealth countries sharing their experiences, listening to different speakers from MPs, well, MPs in transient because of the current election campaign, to communication specialists giving us tips on how to communicate more effectively, discussing issues like the role of the speaker in Parliament, uh, the pressures on a parliamentarian, social media, how that has impacted uh, committees from public account committees to select committees and every different aspect of parliamentary life and how that affects a parliamentarian and how we can make it better. Now your role at this conference was as a delegate representing the Gibraltar delegation but I believe that uh, you also gave an address on select committees. Can you give us a synopsis of what you said? Well I gave an address on how select committees work in Gibraltar which I can tell you is very different to how they work in the rest of the Commonwealth. Uh, different people were giving us their own feedback on how the select committees in their countries work and it transpires that our select committees are mainly advisory and consultative whereas select committees in other countries are very much uh, for scrutiny, for holding government to account in a way that doesn't go far enough in question and answer sessions. So of course we, um, we gave uh, our synopsis on our own select committees uh, in a positive light and considering that we're not such, a, such an old democracy, we're still uh, relatively a young democracy, so we're getting ourselves uh, in the picture of these Westminster-style uh, democratic platforms in Parliament, but it also highlighted that we do leave a lot to be desired in terms of how much more select committees can provide for our society and our community, which is something that, of course, opposition has been calling out for for years, and I believe the current government would have been calling out for when they were in opposition. So I think that we need to take seriously the role and the potential of select committees in order to provide a better service for, for our democratic system in Gibraltar.